My spouse, dead or alive? What am I talking about? Look, I actually put a black tie. This is appropriate. I should actually put this with divorce, I think. But some people actually want a flowery tie for divorce. They're so happy. But let's stick with my spouse, dead or alive. Have you thought about if your spouse checks out of life? You know, passes away, dies, whatever you want to call it. Are you ready for that? All this ambient noise you hear, that was just... The client just left. That was a... Lotus. Lotus, yeah, that was a lotus. <laughs> yeah, that made no drive in front of the window, okay? Sometimes you hear the girls talking, phones going off. This is a real office, okay? Like other shows, they just sit in their car, they talk crap. You know. What's your spouse worth? What are they worth? Call it a partner, call it a spouse. How the heck do I care? I got a wife. I go to my wife. What is she worth? When I first married my wife, I insured her for $750,000. Not when I married her. Hey, right, hold on. A couple years later, we had two kids. And she had confessed to me she wanted 14 kids. Now, I didn't believe it. But I figured, well, there'll be a lot of sex at least, so why not? So we wound up with seven, okay? But after two, I was doing the math. These kids are kind of expensive. In fact, today, because we're in the state of Florida, it's a great state. Let me tell you, you got to think about moving to the state. There's something called Florida Prepaid College. We can prepay your kid's college before they turn 18. Either monthly or, you know, they take it out so much. You can contribute even more if you want. There's a straight plan to tell you how much it costs. Or you can put it in a, like in a stock market plan or whatever. I don't trust stocks. What can I say? I always show a straight plan. I'll pay it. One of my daughters, she's uh, her last year of high school. Her plan cost 6500 bucks, And her four years of university in the state of Florida are paid for. At the same time, now, my son, who's five... His plan cost thirty-seven thousand dollars. I got about ten grand to go, and he'll be done. But today, my ten-year-old daughter, my wife came in today, said, "Robbie, ready?" I said, "Let's do it." And we just paid her off. It was like we owed nine thousand one hundred. Paid her off. And I like that feeling because with kids, I, I know I'm digressing. I always do that, but don't worry. Stick with me. We're gonna get back to dead or alive. When my kids are in high school, they want a car. They want dad to help them. They want a phone. They cost a lot more money. Trust me, you can't pay college. And a car, so many things. So, now with seven, you gotta plan all this, pre plan all this. So, pre plan insurance. Now, maybe you're lucky. Your spouse works for the state or the county or big government, you have a big insurance policy because you may need it. How much will it cost to protect you in case your spouse passes away? That's really a big question. You gotta think about that. But if you have insurance, well, I'm not selling insurance. There's no uh, click here. Like, not, not that crap. I'm not sponsored by insurance. Company, nothing like that. I'm just telling you the way it is, the truth. My father had an insurance license, so he could sell insurance. I took the course in the state of Florida years ago just to learn more about it. I learned a whole lot about it. You get something called term. Term is you buy a, like term of years, like 20 years, 30 years of insurance. is really cheap because you only buy a little bit. And you're buying during a time that people are usually alive. I mean, my wife was 24, 29, 26, when I put insurance on her, where she put insurance on herself, 26, for the next 40 years. So, till 66. At 67, there's no insurance. But the kids are all out of the house. Who the heck cares? It was just in case something happened to her and I had three or four kids, I, I got to hire uh, people to help me out. I think we'd all agree men are kind of useless. Well, we're usually good for one thing at least or two, but, you know. I'm, I'm very fortunate in that my wife chose to stay at home with our kids. A lot, a lot of wives can't do that. My mom couldn't do that. She, she worked. I mean, she worked like a dog. My wife works like, like seven dogs because she's those kids, taking them here, taking them there. She's running constantly all the time. And she does the books in the office and you know, other properties we have. She's busy. Trini and I never really thought about a, taking a computer course, doing accounting, or speaking English. And here I am in America, 
because she's from Spain. Speaking English, doing the books, like four businesses. Uh, you need a good spouse. Uh, you got to find uh, not a good louse, a good spouse, okay? The question is, hey, Bob, do you have insurance in your life? Yes, I do. Yeah. I, I put insurance on myself, so if I pass away, she's protected. I want them protected because... When you're 15, 16, 21, 22, you don't think about that kind of stuff. Uh, you have a huge future. But I thought about it. I said, if we're going to have kids, I better get insurance just in case something happens to her, something happens to me. I want dead or alive. How much you? How much are you worth? Okay, I'm worth a couple million bucks dead. I'm worth a whole. Uh, I'm worth a whole lot more alive. But you know, something happened to me. She'll be very well off. How about that? Something happens to her. It's only seven hundred fifty thousand bucks. How to get a French? You know, maid and what are you kidding? <laughs> I don't speak French. Ooh la la. <laughs> That's about it, okay. But no, I mean, in our home today, how many kids do we have left anyway? Let me see. Uh yeah, this marriage, well, at the first marriage, they're both gone. One's a lawyer, one works with me over here. She's she's real estate also. At this marriage, my son's in law school, finished the second year currently. The next daughter, she just got married, and she'll finish school in about a year. Uh, computer science, she's going to make a ton of money. Uh, the daughter after that, Sandra, she says it's Air Force Academy, so her future's made. Just, I tell her, big fly warthogs. That's a plane, okay? I want her to fly that. She says, no. Who knows? The daughter after that, she's applying to the top schools in America because she is most likely one of the smartest kids we had. It's incredible how smart that kid came out. I mean, yeah. I want a DNA test to make sure she's related to me because, man, she is smart. And she's a hard worker, three degrees of black belt, uh, plays the piano, does, gives concerts. What the heck? Where's she piled up from? I have no idea. Whew. The next one's in high school. She's quiet, like the mother. Doesn't talk much, but she has a lot of common sense. So I know she won't get in trouble because she has a lot of common sense. But we're talking about how much are you worth, dead or alive? And I don't want my spouse to die. Okay. And if, if we have to die, please let me go first. I don't want to hire those French uh, young ladies to take care of me when I'm old. No, no. I want to grow old together. The passing away will happen by itself, but, uh, you know. Women, they have an edge, they outlive us anyway, okay? I'm not sure it's the food they give us or what, but they always live longer than men in my family. Insurance is important. It's a just in case thing. And I, I did a video before about planning a divorce. Well, part of living is the other part. <laughs> you know, death, taxes, death, and taxes. So death is coming for everybody. I'm not a morbid person, but I think about these things and I want to make sure my family's protected. How about you? You want to make sure your family's protected? Now, some people think, hey, don't worry about it. Her mom and dad are rich. They'll leave us a lot of stuff. Who knows? Who knows they'll leave you anything? Maybe you weren't that, that good to them. Maybe they'll leave you less than you think. Be careful. Always rely on yourself. But how much is someone worth, dead or alive? Well, if he has a profession, she could be worth quite a bit, or he could be worth quite a bit. If they're school teachers or union members, there's always an insurance policy. Those things you gotta think about. My spouse, yeah, she's worth uh, yeah, 10 million bucks, I think. I gotta take care of her, at least 10 million. Or for me, 100 million, okay? And I don't wanna live without her. Now she's leaving for a couple weeks. She's going to Spain. She's going to take a couple of kids to Europe with be grandma and grandpa. One of her daughters, who's 10, is now in school in Spain. So she's returning her. But uh, it's going to be a lonely two weeks. I'm here with two other girls and the dog. I don't know which is my best friend, the dog or the girls, but the girls really take care of me, okay? But the most important thing is as we go through this journey of life, to make sure that certain things are taken care of so we can sleep very easy at night in case something is to happen. And that one thing you could do, you could put insurance on yourself and then give it to your spouse because I can't insure her the killer. That would be against the law. I think it used to happen. They would insure people and whack them. That's not the law. You can't do that. I just can't insure a guy across the street and then have him knocked off. That'd be a great business, but, you know, 
That's not going to happen. Only the person alive can take out insurance. And that person then can transfer the ownership of the policy to whoever they want. And as long as that policy is paid monthly or yearly or quarterly to the very end, it's an active policy and should party A expire, party B gets all the benefits known as a tax-free benefit. Okay, if it's a quarter million, a million, or 10 million. So keep all those things in mind. Life insurance is pretty cool. It's pretty tricky. I've had a lot of guys come here try to sell me insurance, and since I took the course, I didn't say nothing. I just shut up. But you know what? There's a lot of sleazy people selling insurance. You be very careful. Very careful. Okay? Because they can make huge amounts of money. Doesn't mean they're going to give you good advice. So if anything, you could, you know, you could take a weekend. It's a weekend. Two weekends. That's all it is. Two weekends. Like six hours on Saturday, Sunday, something like that. Two weekends in a row. You'll know everything about it. You can take a license if you want. And you're going to learn a lot. You don't even take the license. Don't worry about the stupid test. Go to the class and learn a lot before you buy it. It's one of the few instruments you go learn a lot about before you buy. You're going to be better off. So, dead or alive, how much are you worth? I don't know. Everybody's worth a different number. Find your number. Anyway, love you. I'll see you around. So, you take care of yourself, okay? Stay alive. Stay alive. It's most important.